Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we had animated the scene. We animated the character. Here, let me go ahead and hit play. We animated the character. We gave him a little bit of movement and then we animated the camera. Remember, we, we created a camera rig to animate the camera and that turned out really, really cool. And so in this video, the last very step of the process is rendering this animation. How are you going to deliver it to the client? And of course, we need to render the animation so that we can deliver it uh, to the client. And so in this video, we are going to go to the render settings and we're going to render the animation um, in two different formats, EV and Cycles. Now, I went ahead and downloaded the latest uh, Blender 3.4.1 and we're going to render in that. I hear that the rendering is a little faster and so we're going to try it out and see how long it takes in Eevee and how long it takes in Cycles and you guys can let me know down in the comments below if you prefer Eevee or Cycles which one looks better to you uh, with the settings that I have. So we're going to try Eevee first. In the output properties um, you get to choose the size 1920 by 1080 at 100% and we get to choose the frame rate 24 frames and the start frame and the end frame from 1 to 120 at every single frame and the output also we're going to uh, if you hit the little um, folder you can see where you can choose a folder to save the rendering and then in the file format, we're going to choose FFmpeg video, RGB. We're going in the encoding, we're going to choose MPEG4. And in the video codec, we're going to choose H.264 so that we can have an MP4 video. The quality will be, let's go ahead and get the quality, high quality, and the encoding speed, good. There is no audio, so I'm going to choose no audio. And those are the settings for the output settings. The render properties, since it's Eevee, it's got some different render properties. I am going to include ambient occlusion. I am going to turn on bloom, which is a little glow in the light. I am going to turn on space, uh, screen space reflections, which is the reflections, and motion blur that's about it here that's all i'm going to turn on and the shadows the shadows um i have 2000 by 2000 on the shadows uh soft shadows so that they render soft shadows <laughs> and i'm not going to render the transparency because i have a background so the film transparency i'm going to leave it as is so those are all the settings that I did here on Eevee. So let's go ahead and render one frame. So we'll render the, uh, the last frame. And I'm gonna do just a, an image, one frame, and see how long that takes. So this frame took about uh, 10 seconds at 120. That's about 20 minutes for this whole five second animation. So let's go ahead and hit render. Render animation. I will pause the video and when it finishes, we'll come right back to it. Hey guys, we're back and the EV render is done. Let's take a quick look at it, guys. I'm gonna hit play here and go through it. It looks really good. I love it. Good job, it, quality's good. I like it. So let's go ahead and uh, set it up for cycles. Now I'm running on a Mac, so I don't have this fancy GPU stuff. So let's go ahead and go to the render properties all the way up and choose cycles I'm gonna leave it at CPU and the most important thing here I believe is the samples that's how fast it's going to render so I've I put my max samples at 20 and the noise threshold at 0.5 that is my settings uh, of course with the denoise uh, turned on so that we could denoise it and the last thing here is the color management. The transform, we're gonna do filmic. And I'm gonna go with medium contrast simply because 
I want to keep it to what the EV looks like. And then I can always add some contrast in post-production. So uh, let's go ahead and render out one frame and see what the quality looks like and kind of guess how much it's going to uh, take for the whole render. Right now it's at about 10 seconds um, and the samples are up to about 14 out of 20. So the one frame is done. It looks very, very good. And it's about 30 seconds. So I can kind of guesstimate that it's gonna take 30 seconds, 120, maybe about an hour. And so let's go ahead and start rendering. And I will see you guys, I'm gonna pause the video and I will see you guys when it's done. Hey guys, so the rendering is done. Um, on the right is the Eevee, on the left is Cycles. I wanna play the Eevee one which looks amazing to be honest and then the cycles one looks a little bit warmer a little bit richer um, the only difference that i could see is in the subsurface scatter uh, in the skin the hair uh, i love that and it's a little darker down here where it's supposed to be uh, again the eevee and cycles So I really like the cycles one, but um, in comparison with time, it was this was one hour, and this was 20 minutes. So 20 minutes, and this is an hour and three minutes with cycles. So whether you have the time to do with cycles, I would do it with cycles. You know, you just hit the render button, go to sleep or whatever, or go go to break, go to lunch. But if you're in a big hurry to get things out. Just do it in Eevee. It's a great render. Um, Real-time render, Eevee. This is Cycles. Again, guys, this is the very last step in the whole process of creating an animation is doing the final renders. I may do one even final step. I know I said this is the final step, but there is one final step and take it into post-production. Uh, and I personally, I really enjoy working in After Effects, so I would take this into After Effects and I could if I take this one into After Effects, I can adjust the contrast and adjust the brilliance or whatever, and then add some sound to it um, and then render it out in After Effects. I know that Blender has um, the compositing tab, but I'm not too versed in that yet because I use After Effects. So that might be a video for another day. For, for now, these are the two. Tell me which one you prefer Keep in mind that this took an hour and three minutes and this one took 20 minutes to render. Hey guys, this is the last video. Um, I really want to thank you for hanging in there with me. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.